Two books that literally opened my eyes to the nonsense of human resource practices. The first one was in 2017, HR Disrupted by Lucy Adams. And she literally started the book by saying, HR is dead. And then I started reading and I'm like, oh my God, she's talking about everything that I'm experiencing. Up until then, I was literally part of these big corporations feeling that things are not working in terms of HR and the processes and the systems and all that and how we manage talent and develop them and manage um, employees. I just didn't know what was wrong because you are part of the system. You think this is how it should be. And then I read her book. In her book, she talked about everything related to HR from recruitment, induction, talent management, learning and development training, leadership development reward. And she was explaining why these things don't work, uh, but we just keep doing them. So I was like, yeah, but at that point I wasn't competent enough in HR for me to even finding solutions, but I understood, yes, these things don't work. And then the second book came out by Marcus Buckingham and Ashley Goodall, Nine Lies About Work. Now this literally threw me into a let's change HR kind of fit. So once again, they confirmed what I was feeling and experiencing, but nobody is talking about. And I was thinking, I'm like, is it only me in here that, you know, these things don't work for me? So they talk about you know, um, which people they care about the teams or the company that they work for. They talk about cascading goals. They talk about the infamous annual appraiser that is just an opinion piece. You can't measure those competencies. They talk about the hypo program, which is basically creating an apartheid in organization, low potential, high potential. Why? So we can't really measure potential. So they talk about all those things. And when I finished these two books, I was like, Let's change. Let's change HR. And I'm no longer buying into the best practices because they just don't work for the very same individuals that they are created for. They don't work for the employees. And because they don't work for the employees, they don't work for the organizations either. So let's redesign HR's practices um, together. Read these two books if you want to start with them and then take it to the next level because... There is, no, there is no recipe. This is how we do HR. You can literally be as creative as you want to and you must be because you have to design your processes for your business, for your people and not based on uh, a recipe and everybody's doing it. Maybe everybody's doing it, but it's not um, useful for your organization or to your, for your people.